Become a wealth creator today. Text VISIT to 800-454-1184 to schedule your 15-minute call with Eric and his team. That's VISIT to 800-454-1184. The fourth quarter is already here, so it's time for savvy strategic investors like you to take action. So creating a tax-efficient, inflation-adjusted income strategy right now is going to help you stay ahead of the game later, and that's what we're going to be talking about today on Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. So happy to have you along. I want to give you the phone number, 800-454-1184. That's the number to call and text for anything that we talk about today. Text the word Toolbox. You can get Eric's book, Blueprint to Worry Less Wealth, plus a lot of other educational materials. Just text that word toolbox. So easy to 800 454 1184. Another thing you can do is find us online anytime at wealthcreatorradio.com. Eric, happy to be here with you again today. I'm ready to get started. Yeah, no, that's, it's definitely a good thing to be talking about year end. I know it seems weird because it's like, well, all right, we're not quite there for uh, Thanksgiving and everything yeah. else. But, right, you, you, you do need to plan this out. And, of course, the stores already have all the Christmas stuff in there. <laughs> I know. Right? So, uh, yeah, you know, and, and what does that mean? I mean, why, why do you have to do planning? Well, it, financial plans just kind of like, a, you know, kind of like showering and bathing, right? Just because you've done it once doesn't mean it's you're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true, true. you gotta keep you gotta keep doing it. So uh, every year things change. Obviously, this has been a, a bumpy, weird, you know, kind of volatile year for for a lot of people. And and you know what we have to do is figure out okay, what should we be doing going forward? And and so you know what we find, especially this time of year, is is really looking at you know a couple things. Really, is what's your what's your tax situation, right? So you know, I had a client who. Uh, sold a rental property. And so they've you know, had a pretty decent gain. You know, well, there's a couple of different stocks that had dropped and, and some that we wanted to buy back. So we, we sold them off and, and waited the 31 days because if you rebuy them, it, it kills all the tax benefits. But um, mm-hmm. after 31 days, you can rebuy them and, and you know, and get back in there. And uh, it actually worked out because we sold them a little higher, bought them in a little bit lower. Wow. And But she also now gets to recognize that loss that she had. It helps offset some of those gains. You know, so that's one thing to be looking at. Uh, the other really big one that people forget about is, is really looking at Roth conversions. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, because right now you pretty much know what your income is going to be for for 2023, right? So if you look back and say, okay, here's where my bracket is and where's that next big bracket? Well, if you've got 20 or 30,000 to that next bracket, it, it really makes sense a lot of times to do that conversion, pay that t- tax today, which nobody likes to do, <laughs> right? No. Nobody likes to pay a tax if they don't have to yet, but you will have to pay it later. And then once you know, you've done that, that money grows for the rest of your life tax-free and that money comes out tax-free. So, you know, that, that's one of the things that we're doing a lot of with our clients right now is really just looking at that and seeing, okay, how much should we be doing tax conversion wise? Does it make sense to do that? And, you know, what, what kind of uh, action should we be doing? So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff you should be doing for, for your end tax planning. Okay, very good. And then could this also be a, a really good time to discuss a strategy if you're going to be taking Social Security here this year? Yeah, so so that's also an interesting one at, at year end, also because of I've I've had some clients before where uh, I had one that was uh, I think her birthday is in is it Oct- maybe it's October, <laughs> but uh, happy birthday! Uh, but but uh, yeah, so she she uh, when she was thirty uh, for her it was, it was several years back, so it was, hers was sixty six, not sixty seven like it is for most people for full retirement mm-hmm. age, and but she had still worked that year for part of the year. And so her income was a little higher that year. Well, one of the things that you can do with Social Security is you can actually go backwards six months. So what we did for her was we actually, uh, I just told her, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just, just let's not take the money today. We're going to still start on your birthday month, but we're going to wait till January to start it. Huh. And then in January, we went backward to her birthday month, got those back payments of Social Security, but that was all taxable income in the following year where she didn't have any earned income ah. and she wasn't working. So she, in essence, got, uh, you know, I think it was like 15 months of Social Security in, in one year. 
but it was in a year where she didn't have any other income. So it was a lot lower tax bracket. And so, mm. well, that's one of the things that you can actually lots of times look at with social security is say, okay, well, if my income was higher, but I want to go backward, do I start in January or should I just turn it on now? Cause it also the flip side is maybe you didn't have much income this year and might as well just turn it on and get, get some of that money going. Right. So it could be either way. I mean, all this of course really depends on your own personal situation and, you know, that, that's where you want to really want to sit down and, and, you know, get a little bit more information and find out what's going on in your, situ- in, in your life. But, you know, we've set up this toolbox for a couple different reasons. One is you can set a time to talk with us in there, uh, but you can also get this great year end checklist. So, you know, there's lots of different things that you, you can do. But, um, you know, one of the things that I think for a lot of people right now is they do want to get that checklist and that it's a great way to see, uh, I think was it, there's 34 items on there and see where you score. How many of these have you done? And I'll probably give you a hint. You're probably not going to score super high. A lot of people don't the first time they do it. So it's OK. Right. Uh, but that means you got some work to do. So. It is kind of a good way just to see where you're where you are and if you're on track. So again, if you just want to have that that checklist sent to you, all you have to do is text the word checklist to 800 454 1184. Again, text the word checklist to 800 454 1184 or download it directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. Yeah, wealthcreatorradio.com. Great things there. That's also where you can sign up for events, get those details online too. And then, you know, remember that checklist. That's awesome. We're talking about it today. They have it right there for you too. Make sure you get that. And we just thank you so much for joining us. This is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. He and his team work so hard to help retirees. And, you know, Eric has said our system is working very well because they have developed so many great strategies for retirees. Uh, Eric, people who turned 73 this year, they need to make sure that they've taken those required minimum distributions. So tell them what they need to know, please. Yeah, well, this one's kind of weird because of if you turn 73 this year, that means you turned 72 actually last year. So last mm-hmm. year, the rule was 72. So hopefully you figured it out last year. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, <dear. laughs> um, so really, it's almost more critical for the people turning 72 this year. Because that was going to be the year, but at the very last days of, of 2022, they, they moved it to age 73. So, yeah, if you turn 72 in 2023, you, you know, you got one year extension. <laughs> so this, then <laughs> just to refresh people's memory, this is, you used to be 70 and a half. So what we're talking about, what are, what are these required minimum distributions? Well, this is when you, you're paying your loan back. Uh, basically, anytime you put money into a 401k, traditional IRA, you know, SEP, 403b, 457, all these things that you did this tax deferral, you said you did a deal with the devil saying, don't tax me now, tax me later. And nobody ever asked, when exactly is later? Mm. And so later used to be defined as 70 and a half. Then they moved it to se- in 2020 to 72. And then in now 2023, they moved it to 73. If you're born after 1960, just to confuse you even more, it's 75. (laughs) So it's really, really convoluted now. Uh, It's always good to mess with people's memories in their 70s, right? Yeah, right, yeah. Uh, Yeah, so so no, so if you're turning, you know, if you did turn 72 last year, now you're 73, you should be doing RMDs. That means where you have to take out about approximately about 4% of your your IRA balances. If you don't, it used to be a 50% penalty. Now it's 25. They made it. Kind of nicer. Yeah, a (laughs) little. Like versus brutal to now just mean. (laughs) Um, But, uh, you know, it's still pretty bad. And so, yeah, if if that's something that you need to be looking at, one of the cool year end things that you can also do, and then to really confuse people, it's at 70 and a half still. They didn't change this is you can actually donate some of that money. And if you don't need that money out of your retirement accounts because you got other assets or other income coming in. You can actually donate that to a charity. And of course, charities are right now always asking for money at the year end. Yeah. And so, yeah, if you have that money go straight from whatever brokerage account you have or whatever, you know, IRA, that that company that has your money now and you say, hey, I want to donate five grand to this charity. If they write the check straight to that charity, uh, it qualifies as your required minimum distribution. And so you don't have to pay the tax on the income. You don't get the write off. But most people right now... They don't have enough to overcome the standard deduction in retirement, so you're not going to get the write-off anyways. So not only do you 
basically get the write off by not having the income, but you also help satisfy that required minimum distribution. So lots of great things to be learning about and knowing about, but you got to have a plan. And so again, get that year end checklist, get that texted to you because it is super critical. Anybody of any age, this is useful information. It's not just for people just about to retire. So again, if you want to get a copy of that checklist, all you have to do is text the word checklist to 800 454-1184. Again, text word checklist 800-454-1184 or download directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. Still a lot more good stuff to come. Don't go away. We'll be right back with Eric Heckman and Wealth Creator Radio. Be sure to like and subscribe to Wealth Creator Radio so you can stay up to date on ways to build your wealth and create a retirement you and your family will enjoy for years to come. Like and subscribe today and create your wealth for tomorrow with Wealth Creator Radio. Are we headed towards a recession? If so, how will your retirement be impacted? With so much uncertainty on the horizon, the decisions you make today can have a huge impact on your financial future. When should you take Social Security? How will you reduce the impact of inflation? Are you comfortable with the amount of risk you're taking with your savings? Join Eric Heckman of Heckman Financial for an informational webinar where he'll discuss these factors and more. Spots are filling up fast, though, so claim yours now. Go to WealthCreatorWebinar.com to find the day and time that work best for you. That's WealthCreatorWebinar.com. Don't let a recession or whatever the future holds dictate your retirement dreams. Sign up now for this free and informational webinar with Eric Heckman of Heckman Financial. Go to WealthCreatorWebinar.com. That's WealthCreatorWebinar.com. Investment advisory services offered through Heckman Financial and Insurance Services, Inc., a registered investment advisor. Hi, this is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman, who is president of Heckman Financial. Plus, he's also author of his book, Worry Less Wealth. And this book is much like what we talk about on our show. He wrote this to open up our eyes to all the things available to have a remarkable retirement. And he carries that in through this show as well to help us see maybe any warning signs and any planning that we've done before trouble begins. So you can get this book, Worry Less Wealth, on his website uh, or just by calling his phone number. So uh, his phone number, 800-454-1184 and his website, wealthcreatorradio.com. So it is no surprise that inflation is kind of our top concern for people who are preparing for retirement. And Eric, CNBC says that 71% of retirement age investors are actually worried about a negative impact of inflation on their savings. I mean, you know, they're not going to be getting any more money in. I mean, uh, as far as a paycheck goes, Um, a personal Capital poll, it was conducted by Qualtrics. They did this poll on people who are planning to retire in the next five years, and it says the same thing. Inflation is their biggest concern. And a third of those respondents in the poll said that it was really the pandemic that has made them worry about their nest egg and think that they need a larger one, maybe even worried about their standard of living. So for people who are worried about that bigger nest egg for retirement, what would be their first step in helping them analyze how they're doing? Well, first of all, just having an income plan, right? They need to know, is that income going to be okay with inflation and counted in with taxes counted in and the different types of taxes, right? Is it 401k? Is it Social Security? Is it Roth? Is it you know, regular money where it's got cost basis. So all those types of uh, tools have different tax effects. So that's one of the things that you want to be looking for. Uh, obviously, cash is not a place to be, <laughs> right? Uh, getting that 0.01 that might go up to 1% or something maybe as, as rates go up. But uh, when rates go up, debt goes up fast, right? Mortgage rates go up fast. Credit cards go up fast. Mm-hmm. You know, overnight savings accounts, very slow. Oh, <laughs> That's going to take a lot longer for those to really go up. So yeah, cash is a, a horrible place to be in. And, and you know, there are also financial tools that allow you to actually have a higher withdrawal rate. And that's an easy way to actually kind of counteract some of the, the effects of inflation is, is knowing that, hey, I can take out, you know, five or six percent out, out of this tool and on this still be safe. So, yeah. So a lot of times just about reallocation. Yeah. Okay, cool. So this poll, this personal capital poll that we're talking about uh, basically indicates that about a fourth of pre-retirees have actually pushed their retirement date back. And then same amount of people are saying, eh, I'm just going to work part time in retirement because they are worried they haven't saved enough. Number one fear of retirees today. Are there any options then if if you're afraid that you're going to come up short for savings? Any other options? 
Well, yeah. I mean, there's lots of great tools. And again, you know, first of all, you got to have a plan. Yeah. So, you know, if you are, aren't. Right. <laughs> so having, having that written income plan that runs that money out. Yeah, you know, but but there are some different tools. Uh, you know, there's uh, you know index annuities uh, that 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 it can be a great tool where they can pay an income for life, or they can at least give you that that principal guarantee and and then have that money you know paying paying back out to you, and you know it's not going to go away. So that that at least gives you a good baseline. So that way. Yeah, you, know, you don't have to worry day by day on the stock market side of things. And, you know, so there are some ways to actually, you know, in essence, beef up that payment stream, make sure it's going there, make sure it's it's steady. But again, it, it's one of these things where you have to have the right types of money. So you have to have the, the three critical types of money is not everybody's pretty much in the market money with their 401k because it's about the only options you get, right? Stocks and bonds. Mm. What you really need to do is with your other monies or old retirement plans or your IRAs and just regular savings, you need to have some foundational money. That's where like the annuity stuff can come in, have some guarantees, some stuff that's better than the bank, better than bonds. So that way, you know, you're earning a lot more. So that's going to help with inflation, but also it's paying out a lot nicer and steady. And, you know, in between that, you want some steady income funds. These are things that typically are tied to real estate or debt or other things. And these are definitely good inflation assets. So they're usually paying you five, six, seven percent. Plus they got hopefully some appreciation, but they're not really bouncing around daily in the market. So, you know, once you have those three types of money, it makes life a lot easier. And, you know, then you're not just all in one thing, which is mutual funds, stocks, bonds, ETFs, all those things. Mm-hmm. And, and so that's the part that really scares me is anybody who's in those types of situations. So again, if that's something you want to do, you want to be protected against inflation, you really want to have that analysis done. All you have to do is uh, give us a call, text the word visit to 800-454-1184. Again, text the word visit 800-454-1184. 1184 or go online book directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. Let's talk about that. What goes into building this plan, this retirement income strategy so that you can be confident about taking money out of those retirement accounts? Yeah. So, uh, I mean, really it's, you know, making sure you have lots of little checks. <laughs> so that, that's the weird part. Probably one of the best comments I ever had was uh, one of my clients. He, he said it was like Wiley e. Coyote when he runs off the cliff and he's running in the air before he falls. That's what it kind of first felt like Aww. to to retire because, <laughs> you know, you get this check that you got twice a month right beforehand and it was pretty easy and you always had it. Now it's, you know, maybe you have Social Security turned on, maybe not yet. Uh, you got you know, money in the bank, you got retirement plans, 401ks, IRAs, you got Roth, you got regular money. You know, how do you get all these things to, to add up to that old check that you used to get? And so, yeah, it definitely takes some planning. I mean, it's kind of like if you get something from Ikea and, and they forgot the instructions. Oh, good luck. Oh, my. <laughs> All right. You know, here's a bunch of tools and a couple of Allen wrenches. Right. And, uh, you know, we'll see you in two days <laughs> if you're still alive and haven't gone insane. Right. So that's what retirement can be like if you don't have that instruction map to say, hey, this goes here, this goes here. But unfortunately, there is no set tool. Right. There's no set map or instruction guides. So really it's just, yeah, having that income plan, knowing that, that, that money's running out, look at what risk level you have, making sure that plays out and, uh, you know, then taxes along the way. Cause a lot of times people don't think about the fact that when you hit retirement, you get to pick your taxes, which seems weird, right? But you get to pick which tax bucket you're taking money from, and that's going to, you know, dictate how much tax you have to pay that year. So it, it's very different. Eric, you know, Market Watch does say that nobody suffers more from high inflation than retirees. And if you go back into the 70s, okay, uh, those retirees who were living on that fixed income were hit hardest as all the prices started to skyrocket with inflation. And every year, retirees just got poorer and poorer. And now here we are. Inflation is at the highest we've seen in 13 years. Yeah, I mean, inflation really never sleeps. It just it never stops. I mean, we all have that thing of, you know, I remember when, Yep. <laughs> you know, um, this was 25 cents or this was that, right? <laughs> and so, you know, if you want to maintain that standard of living, you, you have to have, you know, your income rising over time. I mean, you have to have that money protected from loss, but also have it, you know, increasing. Because if it's not, you're going to be just kind of basically going backward. You know, you're going to feel like you're, you're staying steady, but, but, you know, your spending power is going backwards. So, you know, really what you need to do is, is have an income analysis that figures out how much you're in need for retirement, you know, so that way you can 
do the things you wanted to do, right? To have that fun fund where you can go out and do all those things. And, you know, look at the risks that pose to that plan, right? I mean, you want to see about not just inflation, but stock market volatility, tax increases, healthcare, everything, and, and then figure out how to have that income generated. For our planning, we've been waiving the fee, and so there's no cost, no obligation. All you have to do is really just set up a time, let us figure out what's what's going on in your situation. We can kind of talk about it, figure out how to hopefully at least inflation-proof that analysis of, of your income. And really make sure that that money keeps growing because in terms of cost of everything, it about doubles every 20 years. So that means you, whatever you need to retire on today, you need twice that in 20 years from now. So, you know, that's going to be a lot of planning to get that successful. So, again, if that's something you want to do, you want to be protected against inflation, you really want to have that analysis done. All you have to do is uh, give us a call, text the word VISIT to 800-454-1184. Again, text the word VISIT, 800-454-1184. 1184 or go online book directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. Most of us will underestimate our lifespan by about five years or more. And we're going to talk about why that's so important and such a costly mistake coming up next with Eric. This is Wealth Creator Radio. We'll be right back. Do you know whether your retirement plan has any weak points? Discover ways on giving your financial future the proper tune-up. Simply go online to WealthCreatorToolbox.com to gain a better understanding in taxes, Social Security, and other ways to manage your portfolio. And that's how it's done. That's WealthCreatorToolbox.com. Be sure to like and subscribe to Wealth Creator Radio so you can stay up to date on ways to build your wealth and create a retirement you and your family will enjoy for years to come. Like and subscribe today and create your wealth for tomorrow with Wealth Creator Radio. This is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. I'm Luann Fulmer. Eric is president of Heckman Financial, and their mission is to get you to and through a worry-less wealth retirement. You know, we have to make our money last a long time in retirement. In fact, that's the main risk is living a long time. And we don't know how long we're going to live. So if we live 20, 30 years, you know, and then we have inflation on top of that, what's going to happen with our money? Well, exactly. I mean, it, the cost of everything pretty much doubles every 20 years. So, you know, if you, if you need, say, 7000 a month to live on now, that's going to be fourteen. <laughs> you know, in 2040s, right? Mm-hmm. So definitely need to have that money growing. And and one of the weird ones I had is that at a person, I, oh my, I was trying to figure out when this was exactly, but it's probably the early 2000s. I talked to this, this gentleman and he was down in the Monterey area and he had uh, turned on his social security at 62, the youngest age with the smallest check, because when he first retired, all the you know, CDs and stuff were paying six, seven, eight percent. Oh, so he didn't no. care. Right. And that's why he said, oh, I, I wasn't worried. And then, of course, interest rates drop like a rock. Mm-hmm. Right. And all of a sudden that income dropped down. And then guess what? Now he's got a small Social Security check you can get. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it goes up with with inflation, but not very much because it's a smaller you know, starting a yeah. dollar amount. So, so the other problem too, is I find is a lot of people just, they plan on today's economy being there for the next 20, 30 years, which obviously now we're almost the exact opposite from what that gentleman had is now we're starting to see rates go the other direction and, and things start going back up from zero and inflation coming back, which then it was going down some. So, you know, yeah, you cannot plan on your whole time from just, okay, everything's just today and it's all going to be the same for the next 20, 30 years. Right. Not going to work. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's such a good point. Our economy today is not going to be the same throughout all of our retirement. The question is, how do you help someone create an inflation adjusted spending plan for retirement when there's just so many unknowns, you know? Yeah, obviously there's, you know, I, I do have a crystal ball in my office. Um, <laughs> oh, good. I've never okay. been able to turn it, I've never been able to turn it oh. on. So it turns out there's no on switch. <laughs> I haven't figured it out, but huh. But it looks nice. Yeah. Uh, all that gets, probably all gets dusty. It is one of these things where you you can't guess all these details, but what can you do, right? It's it's what can you control versus what you can't control. And so what are the things we can control? Well, we can control how we're putting our money away and where we're putting that money away and you know what types of protections it has. Is it increasing over time? Obviously, we don't plan on saying, okay, we're going to have 7000 for the rest of our life and you know, never have it increase. Nope, we're going to have it you know, growing with 3% inflation. You know, some stuff doesn't inflate. Uh, you know, the, the mortgage is one of the best things in, in out there. So you know, if, you, if you retire and you still got a mortgage, 
if that mortgage is going to be around for 15 or 20 years, still those payments, they're the same payments all those years. So in a weird way, mortgages actually get cheaper in retirement, which, you know, sounds weird, yeah. <laughs> but they don't go up. Right. So having a plan that takes that all into to effect is, is really the, the key thing is looking at that and making sure you're adjusting for that, not only just the inflation aspects, but also the tax aspects of those different types of dollars, right? Which types of money are you taking from where? Once you hit 72, you have to be taking out a lot more IRA and retirement monies because you've got that required minimum distribution. What's that going to be like tax wise? You know, all those things. So it's not just inflation adjusted, but it's also tax adjusted. And so you need to have that all done. And, and that's one of the great things that we actually have here at Heckman Financials. We got some really, really good software that does that exactly. Uh, and the best part for my clients is, you know, once they start working with us every year, we can kind of adjust that. We can see, are they on track? And also your, your spending's not linear. Yeah, you have that bucket list of all those things you do. And of course, the pandemic slowed down a lot of a lot of those things that people wanted to do. Right. And so, you know, if you're trying to finally do all those things, typically they cost money. If you want to do that European river cruise or Machu Picchu or, you know, whatever you know, kind of fun trips you want to do. And so typically people are spending a little bit more in their first five to 10 years of retirement. So you also need to plan that in. And so, yeah, there's a lot to go into that. But, you know, if you've got some some good tools and somebody who's been doing this for 30 years and seen how people retire, uh, you know, yeah, that that's that's the big thing. And uh, I mean, my goal is to have a help a thousand people by 2031 retire. And, you know, what, that's what we're trying to achieve is helping those people do that. And, you know, if that's something you want to take advantage of and you want to get a little bit more information, you know, we can set up a 15, 30 minute phone call uh, just with literally with me. And uh, we'll, we'll talk go over your situation and see if we should build that blueprint to worry less wealth or not for you. So, again, that's uh, if you want to set that up, all you have to do is uh, text the word visit. 800-454-1184. Again, text the word VISIT, 800-454-1184. You'll get a link to set up a time or you can book directly online at wealthcreatorradio.com. So many people are worried about inflation, Eric, because they want to have that same lifestyle in retirement. They want to live that. How much do we need to save? Well, everybody should be at least saving 15 and if you can be really great, 20. Okay, okay. <laughs> and so that's tough. Uh, you know, for, for like my son, who's man, my oldest son who just got out of college and stuff. Yeah, no, I was talking to him about, you know, okay, you got that 401k now at work, uh, you know, put it all on the Roth side and, and do at least up to the match, which most companies, that's only five or 6%. Uh, then the other money should be going to liquid savings, you know, boring savings that ain't going to make any, any money, but it's going to prevent you from having interest on credit cards and other things. So yeah, have that six month savings. And then in between, you want to build up those that medium term money, you know, just regular investments. So that way you can have access to, you know, buy a car, get a house, all those types of things. Well, obviously, as you get older and older and you've built up some more of those other buckets, that, that emergency bucket, maybe some of that medium term type money. Yeah, then just you just want to be plow most of all that to, to retirement savings, right? And have that money building and growing and tax deferred. And hopefully if a lot of it's Roth, it's all yours at, at retirement. If it's not, if it's traditional money, then yeah, you have to remember uh, that hundred thousand in your IRA is really like seventy, mm. <laughs> and yeah. so it's like you got a mortgage. It's called taxes. <laughs> uh, so the only way to really do that is just yeah, the more fuel you add, you know, the farther your car will go, right? And so that's what you got to do is just keep fueling up that retirement engine, and it'll go longer. It'll help with inflation. But yeah, if you're not adding much fuel, it's going to be really tough to, to get very far. Yeah. Listen to what Eric is saying. You know, 15, he gave you a number, how much you should be saving, 15% to 20%. And believe me, it's going to get, becoming 60 is going to get here a lot quicker than you think because I'm 62 and I'm like, wow, you know, we didn't save enough. Sure wish we would have. So here I am, you know, going to be working for a long time. Now, inflation is just one piece of that whole retirement puzzle. So what would be some of the other concerns that we need to pay attention to in retirement? I mean, of course, the, the big part is everybody wants to make sure that money lasts for their whole life, make sure they're not going to run out of money and all of a sudden be you know, 85 and <laughs> what, what to do now, right? You don't want to be living on the streets or something like that. So how do you make sure that money lasts? Well, yeah, you've got to have an income plan that, that figures out how much you're going to be spending, looks at those risks of inflation, market volatility, tax increases, healthcare costs, all those things, and you know, really how to keep that standard of living going. And, you know, that's what we've been doing here in Hector 
Ekman Financial for the last 30 years is helping people do that shift from working to retirement. And, you know, it, it's very critical. And the math is very different than what it, what it was when you were just, you know, working and trying to accumulate that money. So, again, we've been waiving our fee right now for this planning. So if you want to set up a phone call for 15, 30 minutes, we'll talk, we'll figure out your situation. And then if you want us to do that blueprint, again, no cost, no obligation. It'll tell you where you're going, where you're headed and then what actions you might want to take. And then it's up to you to take action. So again, if that's something you want to take advantage of, all you have to do is text the word visit to get a link 800-454-1184. Again, text the word visit 800-454-1184 or book directly online at wealthcreatorradio.com. And this is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. And we'll be right back with more. Be sure to like and subscribe to Wealth Creator Radio so you can stay up to date on ways to build your wealth and create a retirement you and your family will enjoy for years to come. Like and subscribe today and create your wealth for tomorrow with Wealth Creator Radio. Are we headed towards a recession? If so, how will your retirement be impacted? With so much uncertainty on the horizon, the decisions you make today can have a huge impact on your financial future. When should you take Social Security? How will you reduce the impact of inflation? Are you comfortable with the amount of risk you're taking with your savings? Join Eric Heckman of Heckman Financial for an informational webinar where he'll discuss these factors and more. Spots are filling up fast though, so claim yours now. Go to WealthCreatorWebinar.com to find the day and time that work best for you. That's WealthCreatorWebinar.com. Don't let a recession or whatever the future holds dictate your retirement dreams. Sign up now for this free and informational webinar with Eric Heckman of Heckman Financial. Go to WealthCreatorWebinar.com. That's WealthCreatorWebinar.com. Investment advisory services offered through Heckman Financial and Insurance Services, Inc., a registered investment advisor. Hi, I'm Luann Fulmer, and you're listening to Eric Heckman, president of Heckman Financial right here in the Silicon Valley area. So happy to have you along with us on Wealth Creator Radio. So I'm going to pull up some mail, okay, some mailbag um, questions for you to go over, Eric. And I always love this segment because we get to hear from, you know, real retirees, real questions that they are experiencing. I mean, you hear this all the time, but I think it's always good to bring it to the airwaves. So you ready for this? Yeah. And a lot of these aren't, uh, a lot of these are emailed, by the way. Right, right, right. Yeah, not mail. I call it mailbag. Yeah, uh, but can you put emails in a bag? I don't. I, don't I guess I, I guess don't if know. You, them, you got to you know, print them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Figuratively speaking. All right. right exactly. <laughs> Here we go. First question, though. Uh, this is from Glenn. Glenn says, "Someone at work was just telling me that the rules have changed for how my kids can inherit my IRA one day, and that they'll have to pay a lot more in taxes. Could you please tell me what's going on, Eric?" Yes. Uh, and this is one of the things where I think all financial advisors need to be licensed in taxes. This is usually when people say, oh, I, I don't give tax advice. It's like, but how are you talking to somebody about their inherited IRA then? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I have licensed to do taxes. And one of the things that uh, is super confusing is this new, um, this came out of the SECURE Act in 2020, where it used to be you could do this stretch IRA, which wasn't a yoga move. It was a, uh, you know, it was a way to, if your kids inherited the money, they would have roughly usually about 25 to 40 years. Usually they, by the time they're in their eighties, they'd have to have the money spent. So yeah, it was very gradual that how much they had to take out. They could take it out faster. Right. But they just the minimum that they had to keep taking out. Well now 10 years. So if somebody dies in 2023, by the end of 2033, that money's got to be gone. So this is like the government telling my three sons to say, hey, dad's gone. You got 10 years to spend his money. Yeah. And what would they say? Challenge accepted. <laughs> so, yeah, not, not the right kind of challenge you want to give no. the younger generations. Like, yeah. hey, can you spend this money faster? Fast. Yeah. Yeah. It only took your, your parents 30, 40 oh. years to save that up. But you can get rid of it in 10, can't you? Yeah. Sure. They'll, they'll do it. Uh, you know, so really what the goal is, is obviously for the government to get the money back on the taxes. So 
Yeah, if you're ever inheriting money from you know from anybody, definitely get some advice because there are exclusions for siblings or exclusions for spouses, uh, for minor children. For uh, there's a lot of different weird little mm. things in there, and if you don't get the right advice and you do this paperwork, there's no fixing it. Um, if you mess up the paperwork, it, it's over and done with. Whatever route you went, you had oh to my. keep going that way. So, yeah, definitely want to know what's going on before okay. you take action. Very good. 800-454-1184. That's the number to call Eric and his awesome team at Heckman Financial because, you know, they have the licenses. They ha- are educated in this area. They deal with retirees every single day. So call that number if you have a question yourself. Here's another uh, mail piece, email piece that we are, uh, that I have for you. It's from Dwayne. And he says, I've handled my finances myself over the years, and I've done pretty well. Everyone tells me that I should have a financial advisor now that I'm about ready to retire. But I'm having trouble with the concept of turning it all over to someone else at this point. Why should I have someone else handle it? Yeah, that's a great question. And if you're super good at doing it and you know all the distribution rules and you know all the math on the way out, because the way up, right, it's kind of like climbing Everest. Mm. Uh, You know, the stats are way more people die descending from Mount Everest than than they do climbing up. And uh, just similar to retirement planning, right? It, it, it's a lot more hazardous on the on the way down as you're spending that money down, not not building that money up anymore. And you know, there's the math changes a lot. The tax pay situation is massively different. But you know, if you think you can handle it, that's great. Uh, the hardest part I find is lots of times for, for especially it's usually guys who say this, <laughs> just in my experience. <laughs> but lots of times they have a spouse that may have nothing to do with money, may have nothing to know about money. And I mean, I've literally had somebody in here where we've had to teach her how to get her balance online because during COVID she couldn't go to the bank and her husband died. And and she used to only go into the bank to find out how much money they had. And she never even used an ATM. Oh dear. Because he always took out the money for her. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, th- there's a lot of things. So, you know, if you can't handle it on your own, you know, definitely want to have somebody. But also if your spouse can't, you want to have somebody at least that you're talking with, to somebody who can, who, who knows what's going on. Uh, but yeah, you better know all the different rules, ins and outs, you know, of, of what's going on for your situation. Because it, it can be, a, you know, it can be a definitely, definitely a very different uh, situation. And lots of times I li- also like to say, you, you don't know what yes, you don't know right. until somebody tells you, right? So <laughs> sometimes it's just worth it just to maybe not hire them permanently, but at least, at least go in there for, you know, for a review. Yeah. For some guidance, right? Yep. 800-454-1184. It'd be so much nicer to worry less about your retirement plan. Just focus on having fun. And Eric, that's why you and your team are here is to really just, you know, guide retirees, help them with strategies along the way. Like you said, you helped that, uh, you know, you've helped a lady before with her social security and helped her try to figure that out. And you can even go back. You said uh, you can go back and claim it with, within six months, right? Yep. Yeah. There's a lot of different tools. And so, you know, one of the things is you can set a time to visit with us at uh, our toolbox site or just get a lot of great educational materials that give you a little bit more more details and a little bit more things to think about. And then, yeah, then it's up to you if, if you want to take action, of course. So you can always text the word toolbox to 800-454-1184. Again, text the word toolbox 800-454-1184 or download it directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. And when you are listening to Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman, I'm Luann Fulmer. We are reaching into our mailbag like we do occasionally. This next question is from Marty. And he says, I'm retiring next year, and I expect that I'll be in a lower tax bracket at that time. But how do I know how much tax I should pay every time I make a withdrawal? I've always just had taxes withheld from my paycheck, and I've never had to think about it. It is amazing how many people just are confused about literally just the logistics of how do I get a check? Yeah. Right? How, how do I how yeah. do I recreate my 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 play check since I don't have a paycheck? Uh-huh. <laughs> anymore, yeah, yeah, right? I love that. So yeah. you can go so, you know, how do you do it? Well, you have to figure out which sources of income are you taking money out of? Are you taking it out of savings accounts where there's no tax issue? If you're taking it out of IRA, obviously you can have taxes withheld. If you're turning on Social Security, you can actually have uh, federal taxes withheld. And I always urge people to do that because that gets you a lot less trouble at tax time. Mm -hmm. 
but just like in California, Social Security is not state taxable, so it doesn't help you on the state side of things. Uh, you know, so yeah, with your IRAs, if you're taking money out of there, you usually want to do withholding. Sometimes you might have to pay quarterly estimates, which is you know where you actually send in a check every three months to the to the state and to the government. So. Yeah, it is something that you want to be planned for. It, it does get a lot more confusing. And really the weird part is you may or may not be in a lower tax bracket because, you know, again, you want to look at your adjusted, you know, not just your adjusted gross income, but you want to look at your taxable income. And lots of times your taxable income in retirement is actually higher. Hmm. So, you know, one of the things you have to look for is how am I really structuring that? And where is that money coming from? So definitely a good time to get advice. <laughs> okay. Very good. Again, I like to give this number out because you might even have a question that, you know, from whatever we're talking about, tees off another question for you. So that number, again, is 800 454 1184. And you can text the word visit to go in for a visit. And you can text the word toolbox to get everything that's in that toolbox, including Eric's book, Worry Less Wealth. All right. Last question for you, Eric. This is from Gordon. He says, we recently paid off our house, which was a great feeling, but now we have about $3,000 we don't spend every month. We're already maxing out our retirement accounts, and I don't want to leave it to our into our checking account. So where should I be putting this money? Yeah, it's great that they, they were able to pay that off. And, yeah. uh, you know, uh, it does free up a lot of cash. And so, yeah, now you have to figure out, okay, where, where are we going to put that money? Well, obviously, a lot of sa- just savings accounts are, are pretty good right now, interest rate wise, but that does create taxable income. And I think that's going to be the one of the biggest shocks for, for next year taxes is how much people had to pay tax on their interest at the bank. Cause we really, had, nobody's paid interest from a bank <laughs> taxes on it for 20 years. Yeah, right? We, haven't, we haven't gotten any good interest for so long. Yeah. And so that's one thing you could do, but you know, there are also more tax efficient places to go. There are other specially designed life insurance actually that you can fund uh, you know, that if, if it's done right and, and, and you're purchasing it for the right reasons and you know all the details going in, there's silly stuff like people call it the laser fund and all these other things that should be illegal. But if, if you're talking about it for real and, and, and a legitimate situation and with real knowledge, um, you know, some of those types of plans actually can you know, not only build up some money tax deferred, but also, you know, like I said, give you some long term care benefits, which you know, can be something that, that people really need to plan for. So, you know, there's a lot of options. Obviously, you could do other stuff. If if you're still working, you can fund, uh, you know, Roth accounts if you're not over the income limits. Uh, but that won't quite, you know, that's more 3000 a month is more than those maximums. So, yeah, I mean, that's one of those things where you definitely want to get a little planning. But I would think heavily on the tax side of things because if you already funded a whole bunch of pre-tax accounts, you're going to have a big tax headache when you hit retirement already. So mm-hmm. if we make more money tax efficient, it's going to help you out a lot. So uh, again, one of the things that you can get access to is a ton of stuff about how long will my money last? What's my social security decision time frame? All these great things, our book, and even a way to meet with us, you know, that's all sitting there at the digital toolbox. All you have to do is text the word toolbox to 800-454-1184. Again, text word toolbox 800 454 1184 or go online, download it directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. Still not done yet. We'll be right back with the rest of our show and Eric Heckman. This is Wealth Creator Radio. Become a wealth creator today. Text visit to 800 454 1184 to schedule your 15 minute call with Eric and his team. That's visit to 800-454-1184. Be sure to like and subscribe to Wealth Creator Radio so you can stay up to date on ways to build your wealth and create a retirement you and your family will enjoy for years to come. Like and subscribe today and create your wealth for tomorrow with Wealth Creator Radio. Hi, you're listening to Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. He's president of Heckman Financial. He's also the author of Worry Less Wealth. You can get that book by just texting Toolbox 800-454-1184. All right, Eric, we've come to that time in our show where you give us a story about people that you have helped. Today, we're going to talk about a wealth success story. Uh, kind of a really nice example to see how things can work out for the best for retirees. So tell us about it, please. Yeah, so uh, this is a uh, one of my clients, Cindy, and and remember when I first met her, she was sit down across the table from me, and 
Um, unfortunately, she'd lost her her husband, and mm-hmm. um, they'd been married. I think it was forty four years or something oh, no. crazy like that. Yeah. It was a long time, oh. and and you know, just a few years before that, she'd lost her son. So she was all of a sudden having to do everything on her own, and. They had some rental properties, and that was not her thing. <laughs> but they always managed them themselves. They never had a manager, but it was really her husband who had been doing that, and he did the handyman stuff and sure. working yeah. with the tenants and all those types of things. And uh, she was even telling me that they called about this some floor issue, and she just started crying on the phone with them because she had no oh. idea what to do. And oh. uh, and so you know, we helped her with some strategies where she could you know sell those with in a tax free manner. Just put those proceeds into, uh, you know, into some stuff that will, you know, give her a lot of cash flow. It was funny because she had money, but she didn't see the money coming in. So, so she was doing very good. And then she, you know, realized that, you know, she didn't know as many people in her neighborhood anymore because, you know, she didn't get out as much. And of course you don't have, if you don't have the kids and other things to, to, you know, have you talk with people and. So, that, yeah, we looked, looked at it and said, hey, why don't we sell the house? And she moved into a, a independent living place there, oh. where all of a sudden now she could talk to all these people, meet people. She didn't need that huge place anymore. And now she's just totally content. She's got plenty of money coming in. Uh, she, she knows she's fine for the rest of her life. And if you plan stuff and you know you're OK, but sometimes to know you're OK, you have to have it in a certain way. And for her, it was having the actual cash flow coming in the door. It didn't matter if it was someplace else until she saw it kind of coming in that door. That's when she finally realized, oh, yeah, I, I am good. I, I, I don't have to worry about things and I'll be happy for the rest of my life. And, you know, so that's where she's at now. So, you know, again, th- this is things that we can help you with. I mean, you've been listening to Wealth Creator Radio. My name is Eric Heckman. Uh, we'll be back next week for th- more advice to help you create wealth and retirement. And, you know, again, if you want to set a time to talk with me directly, all you have to do is text the word VISIT. 800-454-1184. Again, you can call or text the word VISIT to 800-454-1184. Thanks for listening. Information provided during Wealth Creator Radio is for illustrative purposes only and does not constitute investment tax or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with a qualified investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action. Annuity guarantees are based solely on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing company. Individuals should thoroughly review the contract for specific details of the product features and costs. Income payments and withdrawals from deferred annuities are generally taxable as ordinary income in the year they are taken. Eric Heckman offers investment advisory services through Heckman Financial and Insurance Services, Inc., a registered investment advisor. Any tax advice given as Part of this presentation is not intended to be used and cannot be used by the taxpayer for the purpose of avoiding tax penalties or promoting, marketing, or recommending to another party any matter or transaction addressed herein. The views and opinions expressed in the program are not necessarily those of the radio station or its sponsors, and they should not construe as legal, tax, or investment advice. You should always consult the appropriate advisor before making any financial decision.